let's talk about how to handle a mean hedgehog. This is one mean hedgehog I have. It's actually the only mean hedgehog I have. Uh, for some reason, she's just a little brat, and I really don't know why. Uh, so I've started working with her in the past week more than I used to. I used to just, you know, pick them up every once in a while and play with them. But now I'm starting to do more of a routine with her trying to get her better. Uh, lots of people, though, they buy a hedgehog and they're just not tame. They use their natural defenses to curl into a ball, spike, and jump and hiss. So that's what they're naturally going to do until they're calm around humans. So how do you get them calm around humans? Well, the first thing that you got to know how to do is pick them up. Now, if you can see with this one, let me get it better on the camera. If I go anywhere near her, she's going to freak out. See her jumping at me wherever I touch her? Clicking, jumping, hissing. That is the normal self-defense behavior for a hedgehog. See if I can get us over this cage a little more. See this? Now, this is going to be very intimidating for a new pet owner, especially a new hedgehog owner, especially a hedgehog owner that doesn't own many other pets and, you know, is thinking, oh, I'm going to buy this nice hedgehog, and then they get it home and they can't pick it up. So what you have to do is, first off, don't be afraid. Uh, you have to get this out, off the ground. While she's on the ground, you can't do anything. She's going to spike, she's going to jump, she's going to freak out. Okay? Nothing that you can do, but there is. All you have to do is get her off the ground. And you can do this one of two ways. You can use a towel, which I'm not going to use right now, but should be pretty self-explanatory, you know. Get the towel around her so it doesn't hurt you when you pick her up. Or you can just use some bedding like I'm going to do now. Even though she's freaking out, I'm going to show you, you can pick her up without being hurt. And this is what you're going to want to do. I've got this flat box over here. It's actually her sleeping area. I use these a lot. Wow, she pooped on the side of that in there. Wow. Got to get a new one. But, um... I just cut a hole in a box and that's their sleeping area, real cheap and easy, and then I replace them like once a month. So I'm going to put her on top of that to get her kind of out of the aspen. So all you got to do is scoop up with aspen. Real simple, see? Now I'm going to put her on the flat surface. Now that she's on the flat surface, for some reason it makes a difference. When you take them out of their cage, it makes a difference. Now she's still kind of in her cage, so in a second I'm going to put her on the chair, but I'm going to let her cool down for a second, and then I'm going to pick her up without Aspen. You just got to sit around and talk to them, and you got to handle them a lot. But let me show you what to do next. She's still being a little grouchy, but if you get underneath, there's fur underneath instead of spikes. As you can see, I have her in my hand. She's still freaking out a little. You can hear her. But, hedgehogs rarely bite. Very, very rare. Their defense is to curl into a ball and use their spikes. So it's very rare that when you stick your hand under there, you're going to get bit. Not going to happen. If it does happen, I'm sorry, but it's, it's really very rare. It's, it, you shouldn't worry about that. And if they do bite you, it's not going to draw blood. It's, it's just going to be like a pinch. So as you can see, now that she's out, the longer I hold her, the better she's going to get. She's going to start calming down, and she's going to start walking around curiously. She's not continuing to spike. She's not continuing to roll in a ball. Even though now I've got her in my hands, you know, and before I was just touching her, she's doing okay. She's not biting or anything. So now what I would do, I'm going to put her on this chair, but I would usually put her on a coffee table or next to my desk. And what you're going to want to do is just that. Put your hedgehog on like a coffee table by your TV. Make sure your coffee table isn't too high or very carefully watch your hedgehog so it doesn't jump off because they will jump off sometimes. But what you should do is just put your hedgehog on your coffee table. You don't have to be touching her the whole time. Put it on the coffee table while you watch a half an hour TV show or while you watch a movie. That time being out on the coffee table She's going to be curious, she's going to be walking around, she's going to be looking at you, she's going to be hearing the noises from the TV, and she's going to start getting used to all these different things. If you just leave her in her cage and you never pick her up, she's not getting used to anything. She's not going to get used to being held. She's not going to get used to being around other noises. Noises are one thing that really freak them out sometimes. I don't know if it's going to freak her out, but let's see. Usually noises really make them jump. And she was closing her, her eyes there a little bit. 
And they need to get used to noises because for some reason noises will very much put them in their defensive mode. So you're going to want to just get them out of the cage and that's what I suggest you do. Every day, take them out of the cage for 30 minutes to an hour and just let them walk around. When they're out of the cage, try to give them treats. Things like mealworms. Crickets of course work, but crickets are fast. They can get away. You could just throw mealworms, superworms, or some other insects on the table, slower insects, and then your hedgehog will be able to pick those up off the table, unlike crickets that would jump away. This too will ensure your hedgehog likes coming out, because when you take her out of the cage and put her on the table, then she gets yummy treats. She'll, she'll start associating then the treats and coming out with a good thing. You know, it's, it's a good thing that she's coming out because she's getting, you know, treats, she's getting some entertainment. So over time, she'll start becoming more tame. And you can see, she's been out a little bit, but she's still a little grouchy, but she's fine. But the biggest thing with hedgehogs is, don't be scared of them. Because even though they kind of look scary, and you saw how mean she was at first, lots of people wouldn't even pick her up. And if you go buy a hedgehog and then you leave her in her cage for her whole life because she's kind of mean, well then, you know, you're not going to have a great pet and your hedgehog's going to have a bad life. You know, it's not very fun just to be in a cage all the time. So you really got to work with them. And just like you saw here, even if they are mean, you can get them out. You can pick them up. You can play with them. And over time, she's going to get calmer, nicer, and she'll be a lot better pet. So that's all you got to do, really. Spend time with them. Just like a friend, I guess you could say, when you first meet a friend or a new friend, they're just an acquaintance, you know, they're someone that you know, but you don't really care about them, don't really care, you know, who they are or whatever. But if you hang out with that person, let's say, you know, a few more times, the more you hang out with them, the more you get to know them, the more, you know, they become your friend and you actually care about the person. So, you know, that's kind of how, like, all, all uh, I guess, animal and human interactions go. Time is what is needed. The more time you put into your hedgehog, the calmer and tamer your hedgehog can become. And the more your hedgehog will, you know, like you and become bonded to you. So, just wanted to show you guys, really the point of this video was to show you, if you have a mean hedgehog, you can pick it up. Get it out, get it socialized, and it'll turn into a great hedgehog. Let's see if we got just an ending to this video. I just gave a... Just gave my Pinto a bath. Just let them meet each other. That's that's her mom. The Pinto's, Pinto's her mom. They haven't seen each other for probably two or three months. She's even... See how she's even freaking out at other hedgehogs? She's just a brat. She just... She's just a brat. <laughs> But over time, she'll get better if I work with her, like I told you guys to do. Mom Hedgehog's just trying to check her out, and she's just like, get away, man. Well, all right, just wanted to go over that, and if you have a hedgehog and you have any questions, let me know. And just keep working with it if you got a mean hedgehog. You'll be able to tame her over time. Oh, now she's looking more interested. See, this hedgehog just, she just freaks out about new things, but once she starts to realize, she'll usually start calming down. Well, now, now she goes against what I said and starts freaking out again, but you know.